2009 MacBook Pro subwoofer left and right speaker replacements. Start off by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. To remove the logic board cover, remove the seven Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going all the way around the contour of the MacBook. Once you remove the seven Phillips head screws, now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Lift up and remove the logic board cover. Before we begin this process, please note that the right speaker is under the DVD drive while the left speaker is under the logic board. Before you begin, disconnect the battery. DVD super drive removal. Go ahead and begin by disconnecting the speaker and the Wi-Fi cables. You can now detach the speaker that's being held in with two Phillips head screws, one on each side. Push the speaker over to the side and expose the Wi-Fi cable bracket. It's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those. Move the bracket out of the way. Now you can disconnect the DVD data and the hard drive cables. The DVD drive is being held in with three Phillips head screws. One in the top corner is on the left side and one in the back. Remove those screws. You can now lift up the drive at an angle from the back and pull it out. The right speaker is located right underneath the Super DVD drive. Once the Super DVD drive has been removed, you can use tweezers to gently pry out the subwoofer and the entire speaker and subwoofer assembly will come free. Reinstalling the right speaker is as easy as taking it out. Just place it back in the same way that you got it and firmly press it in with your finger. DVD Super Drive Reinstallation Place the Super Drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure it with the three Phillips head screws, one in the bottom left, one in the top left, and one screw in the back. Reattach the Wi-Fi cable bracket and secure it with two Phillips head screws. Make sure that the bracket is going over the Wi-Fi cable. Place the speaker into its position. Reattach it with two Phillips head screws. Plug in the Wi-Fi antenna cable back into the logic board. Also plug in the speaker back into the logic board. You can now reattach the DVD data cable and the hard drive cable back to the logic board. Logic board removal. Begin by unscrewing the three Phillips head screws that are attaching the fan to the logic board. Lift up the fan and disconnect it. Put it on the side. Now disconnect the LVDS cable. Next, disconnect the keyboard backlight. Lift up on the latch and pull it out of the socket. Then the keyboard, lift up on that latch as well and pull it out. Next, the trackpad. Then the DVD ROM and the hard drive then the eyesight and the Wi-Fi cable next the speaker once all the cables have been removed go ahead and unscrew the seven screws that are holding in the logic board these are Phillips head screws
pry out the glued in microphone with tweezers. This might be a little difficult, but this is a very important step that cannot be skipped. Once the microphone is loose, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and lift up on the logic board, pushing all the cables out of the way. Lift it in an angle. It's still connected to the DC inboard. Flip it over and disconnect the DC inboard. The logic board is now free. Microphone removal. Pry the microphone apart from the speaker, gently tracing it down. Then disconnect it from the logic board. Speaker removal. Go ahead and pry back the speaker. It should be attached with some tape onto the logic board. Speaker reinstallation. Place the speaker onto the logic board with the left over adhesive. Microphone reinstallation. Reconnect the microphone to the logic board first. Then trace down the microphone along the speaker. Tuck it in. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DC inboard first. Insert the logic board at an angle. The USB connections towards the chassis first. Move the cables out of the way and drop the logic board in. This will take some time as there are many cables in the way. Make sure to try to dig them out. Once the board is positioned, look over all the cables and make sure that nothing is trapped underneath. Go ahead and reconnect the seven logic board screws. Once the screws have been reconnected, reconnect the speaker, then the Wi Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive then the hard drive. Next the trackpad. Now reconnect the keyboard backlight. Make sure that the eyelash is up and insert it using tweezers. Push the eyelash down when you're done. Now the keyboard. This will take some practice and is sometimes difficult to do. Use tweezers to gently help you put in the keyboard. Once it's in, press down on the eyelash. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to push down on the lever to lock it in. Reattach the fan with three Phillips head screws. Now reconnect the fan to the logic board. Make sure that the microphone is in the correct position, otherwise the microphone quality might be in jeopardy. Reinstall the LVDS bracket on top of the microphone. 
Screw it in with two Phillips head screws. You can now reconnect the battery. Place the logic board cover back over the MacBook. Screw in the three long Phillips head screws first. Then starting in the top left, screw in the short screws. There are seven of these. Go around clockwise around the contour of the MacBook. Once the unit is reassembled, perform a SMC and NVRAM resets.